Yeah, whether you're young and don't know how to swim quite yet or an excellent swimmer, rip currents are a hidden danger off our coast. Uh, this week is Florida's Severe Weather Awareness Week, and it's a chance for us to learn about some of the hazards that you and, and I face every single day, and we want to make sure we're keeping you safe. So let's start by taking a look at what a rip current is and how it works, and, and really more importantly, what it looks like when you're out at the beach. Looking at this beach, it's a beautiful day, right? Uh, can you spot the rip current here? It's actually not where the waves are. It's that calmer area, and that is the current that is pushing away from the beach that ultimately could trap you and pull you out into the ocean. So let's talk about how these things form here. You have these incoming waves. Typically, you have rip current concerns with the winds blowing up along the coast. The water has nowhere to go, right? So it, it has to eventually come back out to sea. So it finds the path of re least resistance. It's typically a break in the sandbar and that current rushes out and that rush or that current is that rip current ripping away from the coast. To get out of that rip current, you have to swim parallel to the coast. It only takes about 30 feet or 90 feet or so to get out of that current. It's important to stay calm, swim parallel to the coast, and eventually you'll come out of it and you can swim safely back to shore. But if you try to battle that current, you'll wear yourself out, and that's ultimately what causes a lot of people to drown.